<sighs> I slept marvellously. But it's about time Eddie showed up with a the breakfast. There's someone coming, but it isn't Eddie. Morning, children. Have you seen a small boy by any chance? He's been missing since yesterday. Does the boy you're talking about live at the farm nearby by any chance? That's right. I can't believe it. Do you mean Eddie? He already led us on a wild goose chase yesterday. Yes, I'm talking about Eddie. But I don't think it's a prank this time. His bodyguard was overpowered yesterday, and Eddie's room looks as if a struggle took place there. And you're sure this isn't one of Eddie's hide-and-seek games again? We heard he's quite imaginative. Well, yes, we've received a demand for ransom. And it doesn't look the work of a little boy. Hey! Remember the fuss Timmy kicked up last night? And after that, there seemed to be a light on at the One-Eyed Pirate. Well... In there? I simply can't believe that. How on earth can anybody get in there? The door probably hasn't been opened in years. Have you got the ransom note on you? Could we have a look at it? Well, yes. Where not? If you leave an envelope with half a million in the old drinking trough in the pasture by 12 o'clock tomorrow, the boy will be released. If not... What's that? Looks like red wine to me. Hmm. Isn't that dreadful? Poor Eddie. And you take this seriously? Oh yes, absolutely. That's also why I'm asking you to pull your tents down and spend the night at Mr. Loomer's until Mr. and Mrs. Kiran return. It's simply too dangerous here. But we've got a watchdog with us. I'm sorry, children. I can imagine you're disappointed, but it's just too dangerous. But there's four of us. We still don't know whether the culprits are armed. And even the four of you would be helpless there. But we're not afraid. I believe you. But that doesn't matter now. All right then. I'll try to arrange some lodgings at Mr. Loomer's. Mr. Loomer has been informed. He's waiting for you. All right then. Maybe this will all be over soon, and you'll be able to carry on camping. Okay, let's strike our tents quickly and get off to the lighthouse. Mr. Loomer. Hello, children. Well, that's a bit of a sad end to your little camp, isn't it? I still can't believe it. Although I'm sure Eddie's just hidden himself somewhere again. I wouldn't jump to conclusions, George. Julian, could you bring the things inside, please? I'll just tidy up a bit here. Sure.
It's so unfair. This Eddie fellow is spoiling our whole trip. I don't know. The ransom note looked quite genuine. You know, that red wine stain. Weren't there some bottles lying around at the farm? Hmm, that's right. And now tell me honestly, do you think little Eddie's clever enough to use this as a lure? Well, not really. Oh well, we've got to find out what's happening. That's the way I see it too. As far as I'm concerned, this looks more like the work of a stupid kidnapper than a good deception. So what's keeping the others? Oh, there you are at long last. Don't get so upset now. It can still be fun here as well. Children, I'm sorry, but I just haven't got any time for you now. You can see for yourselves that there's a lot to be done. Are those broken pieces of glass from Eddie's room? Yes. Oh, I've been blaming myself so much. Oh, come on now, Mrs. Miller. If someone can knock out the bodyguard, you wouldn't have stood a chance either. Haven't you got anyone here to help you out? No. My son slipped away again for a change. Then we'll give you a hand with that now, won't we? What needs to be done, Mrs Miller? Do you really mean that? Oh, you're such wonderful children. Well then, the barn could do with a bit of tidying up. No problem. We'll do that in a jiffy. That's awfully nice of you. I'll go back inside then. There's such a mess in there. the newspapers from which the letters were cut out. Here's some glue. Don't touch, Dick. There might still be some fingerprints on it. And how do you find out? Stop. Don't rub it in. It's got to be applied carefully with a brush. Well, just look at that. You were right, Julian. That's a big, fat fingerprint. Let's see now. Hmm. It's definitely not a child. We can deduce that the ransom demand was made here. 
but not by Eddie. Excellent, dear Watson. And what do we conclude from this? I've got a feeling this could come in handy later. Eddie was indeed kidnapped. Indeed. That's why we've got to act fast. We do know what the kidnapper wants, don't we? And when he wants it, and that's immediately. So what's your plan? Quite simple. We pretend to hand over the ransom money and catch the fellow. Hmm, could work. But we have to hurry. I suggest George and I get hold of an envelope and the both of you stay here and continue tidying up. Otherwise, Mrs Miller will become suspicious. And Timmy had better remain here with you as well. the key mum's left for us. Have you found the key? Sure. Well, let's go inside then. This one should be the right size. Now we've still got to cut up the paper into little pieces and put it into the envelope. Can you see some scissors anywhere? scissors exactly what I've been looking for we can start preparing the envelope now and now a small surprise for the special person collecting the letter Ready.
Quick, George, put the envelope in, and then we'll have to hide somewhere. Now we'll have to hide ourselves somewhere. How about the tree stumps? They're big enough. Okay. Come on, George, you two. Hide yourself. No chance of anyone coming if you just stand there, George. What's the matter? What do we do if no one comes? Why should... Shh! Someone's coming. What's all this mischief here? This isn't a playground. To. Get lost. Go and play somewhere else. Now, now. Calm down. We're already on our way. Why are you back so soon? We haven't seen anyone running away yet. Well, unfortunately, something got in the way. Or rather, someone. That fellow Gregory spotted us at the pasture and told us to go away. My goodness! I can't believe it. Why does that character have to show up at precisely this moment? Our whole plan's gone astray now. Anne! What's got into you? I'm sorry, Anne. You like Eddie, don't you? I think he's quite amusing, yes. Have a look. Our friend actually tried to open the envelope straight away. <laughs> so his fingers aren't exactly clean now. But that's not much use to us. Gone is gone. Anne's right, you know. Basically, we haven't achieved anything. Eddie's bodyguard is coming. What shall we do now? Best thing is not to say anything yet. Hello, children. Have you heard yet? What? Eddie really was kidnapped last night. And I was knocked unconscious by the kidnappers. 
as if that wasn't enough. Eddie's father threatened that I would lose my job if I didn't bring his son back safe and sound. We'll help you. We'll comb the whole area again. Best thing's to split up once more and meet up again at the hideaway. You haven't found him either? Nope, not the slightest clue anywhere. We must have overlooked something. Might be, but we don't even know what we're supposed to be looking for. I think Timmy wants to tell us something. He whined in exactly the same way yesterday evening. I think they're scratch marks. These could very well be Timmy's. What on earth did he want here? Hello. Are you waiting for me? Tell me, did you notice anything peculiar yesterday evening? Well, not exactly notice. But I found something. Found? What have you found? Tell me, go on. Nothing spectacular. A piece of cloth. Apparently, Timmy put it in front of my door because I heard him scratching at the door just beforehand. Are you sure it was Timmy? Not entirely. By the time I got to the door, he was gone. But we can find that out quite easily. Just give the rag to Timmy. We'll just see how he reacts. Good idea, Anne. Have you got the rag, Alf? Yes. Here it is. Whoops. Hey, not so fast, Timmy. Thanks, Alf. Come on, everybody. After him! What's he doing there? He wants to show us something. What could that be? Gosh, 
We should have recognized this before. These could be marks made by a ladder. A large, heavy ladder. Do you mean that yesterday, while we were gone, someone used a ladder and climbed into the one-eyed pirate? Then we didn't just imagine the light we saw. There was someone in there. He might still be in there, the way Timmy's carrying on. We've got to go in there as well. Now, now, Timmy. We understood. Right, we need a rope. There's no other way. 